Sean Pittman. Born in February, a cruel month, a time out of season when the hotels on Grand Parade used to rely on permanent residents to keep them ticking over. At the three-star Burlington, however, residents are no longer quite so desirable. The owners are moving into a new market and, sadly for residents, the traditional separate table could soon be a thing of the past. How long were you and Mr. Bloom married? Sixty years. And, of course, all the things he did for me, you can't imagine. I never moved a finger. Wouldn't let me move a finger. Did everything. Everything. You were spoiled. Terribly. Terribly. But you can't spoil a good thing, can you? No, it isn't Wimbledon. It's the Carvuero Club in the Algarve, where I'm on a tennis coaching holiday. Confidentially, though, small-time club players like me have this tendency to fantasize. And the number one seed, has he got problems? A wonderful racket work. Oh, yes. In Hammersmith, West London, lies a little backwater now known as Brackenbury Village. The name was plucked from nowhere by the new breed of estate agents. It caused wry amusement among the folk who've lived all their lives in Cardross Street. Two up, two down Victorian workmen's cottages, built in the 1860s and now very upmarket. Do people who, who you meet here, do they know that you're an honourable? It's not something you exactly talk about a lot. Occasionally, I guess, if the mail has been delivered to the wrong place, then somebody has mentioned it. <laughs> and how do you explain it away? Well, I just say that, that my father was a peer. Yes. Dorothy Knight has lived here for nearly 30 years with her cats. Oh, there you are, darling. You never married? No. I've been taken off the shelf and dusted once or twice and put back again. I could have done, but... Um, I'd rather have my own independence. Uh, I mind you, I mean, I like a man's company and I like going out for an evening with a man, but I couldn't settle down with one. We're all down the road to Morocco. This camel is tough on the spine. Hit me with a man big dad. Off on the road to Morocco. It's a terrible noise, isn't it? Both ends. Meanwhile, in Madik village, simple folk are trying to earn an honest DRAM. 18 quid, Cartier. Briefcase, 40 quid, Cartier. The thing about Butlins, my mum always used to say, is it doesn't matter what the weather's like, there's always something to do. I first came here 30 years ago and there was always something to do and the weather was bad and I used to be a bit scared of these rides, they used to make me feel sick, I think they still do. Cold and calculating. Do you think that's true? Definitely not. Because it's not, I'm not a real blonde, am I? This says that you should be avoided. Yes. 
because you're nervous, dominating, excitable and intense. Oh, that's all true. Really? Yes. Do men avoid you? No. Can we have a word, please? What a super sun tan. What are you selling? Right. Now, what do you want? Nick's nosh, you can have finely cut pieces of cooked beef and lamb mixed with pieces of dog biscuits <laughs> and some di... How long can you stick up here like this? Oh, 10, 15 minutes. Really? Yes. What time do you have to get to work? Well, I'm, I've got, I'm in a very peculiar position, you see. You I, are in a very peculiar position. <laughs> Not only... <laughs> My mother said the other day that she had an engagement ring that she didn't know what to do with, that it had been her engagement ring, two carat diamond, very nice emerald. I said, oh, no, I'll take it. I'll give it to Marilyn. Yes, but you gave me a ring before, but it didn't mean anything. I sold it. Sheena, has anything, Dorothy said, put you off wanting to be a pop singer? No. Any organization helping to promote jogging? At oh, yes, a large number of people. We've got, look, we've got someone to help us promote jogging now. Good You've got to come jogging with us. <laughs> what? Have you, yeah. have you jogged before? Yeah. When? Um, long time. <laughs> well, what, 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 what does jogging mean? You tell me. I don't know. <laughs> ah, well, then, yeah. <laughs> Do you know who this is? No. It's the Marples. I don't know who that is. There you are, and I don't <laughs> know who you are. What's your name? Tony. Who? Tony. Tony what? Gom. G-R-M. Gom. M-M. -E. I'm Gom. <laughs> ah, I see. What's it all about? Hello, oh, somebody else we've got. You see, this is, you asked me, do we get a crowd in the house? Yes. Quite, yes. Yeah. Who's, who's... Hello, folks! Who's promoting it? <laughs> <laughs> who's doing the promotion? Ah, well, they're falling out. Yeah. They're not, not fitting out. <laughs>